Hi, I'm Al. And I'm Ash. We are Black Sheep Game Geeks. And today we're going to play a game of Dust 1947 using two starter armies. I'm bringing the Luftwaffe. I'm bringing Mythos. And uh, we didn't get a lot of sleep. So, so this, this should, should be, be fun. Interesting. Let's see how it goes. One objective, middle of the board. I'll let you place the first piece of terrain. At the end of round two, whoever controls the objective uncontested wins the game. strategy to putting out the terrain yet, so we'll see how this goes. It's okay, I'm not overthinking it right now either. Now, for some fun, I am going to go ahead and yeah. place a piece of blocking terrain. Ooh. Right there. Up in the ante over here. Gotta keep it fun. Right. We're both playing high mobility armies. More or less. You really have an issue with me being close to that objective, <laughs> that vehicle. <laughs> it seems like a, I don't know, decent place to put it. Alright. Alright. Now we'll roll, roll for initiative. initiative. Three dice. And it looks like you won initiative with two factions and a crosshair, two my one crosshair and two shields. Because this is a good example of how this is going to go today. Hopefully. Okay. Um, are you have two activations? I have three you... activations to okay. go to. I have two. I'll have you so place you... first. Good idea. So, my Reckon Troop Battle Squad is going to march move on, I think. They're going to move up and take cover in the trees here, assuming they don't, you know, fall off their bases too much. <laughs> Frank had a little too much at the pub last night. Right. Now it's on to you. He's falling over tired. I know how he feels. Right. Normally I don't recommend playing dust tires, but you know. So that would make it interesting. <laughs> Alright, ah, the Migos can go up to five. So I'm playing one, two, three, four, five. Near the objective. See if it works out. No time getting things <laughs> close today. Hopefully them being close to the objective works out better than the last game. They kind of came in last time and got exploded, like, immediately, so they're a little safer this time. A little bit. I might have to put that to the test now. <laughs> okay. Oh, activation tokens. Oh. Speaking of being tired. Huh. Oh, activation tokens. Yes. I remembered. Okay. So my RSO pack 40, I think, will be next to come on board using its airborne ability. 
Gets to drop anywhere on the table. Can't be any closer range two to the objective. Then I have to make my roll to see if I get a second action. I think I'm going to drop it right into the trees here. Trees! Then roll my die, see if I get a second action. I do! Good job. So, you would definitely get cover, I'm pretty sure, from the corner of the pillar there. I think so. But, if I'm not mistaken, it looks like I should have clear line of sight elsewise, where I have line of sight. Um... I only have range with my anti-tank gun, but let's see if that can't be effective enough. So I'm going to take one shot at them. It's a blast weapon against infantry three for one damage for each hit. Do it. And only one hit. I get to roll. You get to roll your my defense. One. It counts as cover, so factions and shields. My one die defense because it was one hit. Yep. Shield. So you save it. Shield. Migos are safe. This is going better than the last game. And activated. now the pack 40 is activated. I'm going to take my pass because I get one pass since I have one less you activation. Do. I'm just going to put it here for the camera to show that I took it. I don't know where else is applicable. Okay. So... Florentine is going to activate... She looks so cool. She's just going to make a regular move onto the board here. And she is going to attempt to... You know, she's going to attempt to reactivate Pack 40 again. I think that's uh, a good call. She gets one die to do so. And she failed. It's because I hit her. Probably. She said no she, thanks. She's not happy about that. <laughs> so, so she she's is activated. now activated. Alright, well, it's coming in with her coldest fire squad. One, two, three, four. They can move up to four, so we're going to do that. Alright, everybody's squaring up that for objective. that objective. Round two is and where the bloodbath hopefully begins. Are you ready to pull tokens and roll? Yep. Everyone's been activated. I didn't activate them, but they were well, activated. They were the last thing to go. We know that they activated. I still gotta mark it. I gotta like work on that. Alright. Practice, practice. Roll hmm. initiative. I got seriously three shields. So, so I won because I got one of each. One of each. I'm having the worst rolls. <laughs> There's hope for the mythos yet. <laughs> All right. Mm. Trying to figure out what to do, what to do, what to do. Hold on. What kind of weapons does uh, Florentine have? Florentine herself is armed with two laser pistols. They roll one die each against all infantry, so pulls two dice for one damage per hit with the laser ability. Okay, and then the this guy, pack what? The pack 40, pack 40 has an anti-tank gun that will do splash damage against any infantry squad. It fires that and then has three submachine guns as well that against a infantry three will deal uh, three dice for one damage each. Against the infantry one, it is five dice for one damage each. So, being that there's three weapons, Migos would be risking mm. nine dice, and the Cultists would be risking fifteen. Ouch. Alright. I was trying to see if I can get on this side of it. This is probably better, though, because if they move forward, I'm hitting from them. They have more guns than she has. Yeah. So they are here. That's five. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't think I can do that. Wait. One. Oh, four, five. Okay. Yep. That is five, exactly. So they are there. They're going to attack this. Um, they're going to use their claws. So it's three times claws. That is a armor two? Yes. Armor two. So it's two, two. Two, two, and two. And this is how a pack 40 dies horribly. As that is eight damage to the pack 40, which only had three health. Oh, it's close combat, so it doesn't get a. Uh, no saves. So the Migos took it out. Yes, the Migos took it out. Good job, Migos. Now I get to roll one die back for the joys of improvised. And it did absolutely nothing. So, but they are activated. Yep. So it's on to you. Now you also have two activations. That is true. <laughs> You're like, thanks. So, I just put that back there, because I don't need that anymore. Alright. Well, my Drakenpropen are going to um, make a standard move followed by an attack. Do it. They are actually going to be moving all the way up. I love how you both gone over the objective to shoot at each other. <laughs> that gives me joy. Alright. It's not just me. Now, unfortunately these guys throw a bit of dice, so I'm going to have to break up my rolls. That's fine. I'm going to start first with their machine gun. So, this dude here. He is rolling nine dice against your infantry one. Yes. He scored two hits. So if you want to get two die to keep track of that. So I'm going to roll, right? Or is it close combat? No, it's, it's regular. I yeah. to roll for that. Um, I'm going to roll three of the four assault rifles as a block. Now roll the last one's four. Sounds good. Because each assault rifle rolls four dice. I have four of them. Just get so more dice. Uh, Twelve. So that is going to be four more hits so far. Then I will with those out of the way. Roll the four for the last gun, which was one more hit. So that was five total from the yes. those. Plus the two from the machine gun can for I roll seven them total. All at one time? You can roll them all at one time. Okay, cool. There's nothing special about those weapons that would require something so different. So that is three mm -hmm. damage, damage gets through. So I'm going to put them onto the left. Well, naturally. You can take three damage. She will have one health left. And then she changes form from Lilith to Possessed Lilith. Lilith. And she becomes this, like, cool little monster -y thing. Okay. Okay. So, because I know better than to close combat... Are you sure? Lilith's I'm possessed sure. now. Can they are them? done. Because I don't need to pack 40 yet. Uh, out anymore. I don't know what happened to that. Gee, it's a mystery. <laughs> the Migos did their job. Alright, so what's Lilith and her coven going to do aside from chew on some uh, tasty Axis soldiers? Alright, so we'll do long range first, clearly. Mm -hmm. um, they are infantry one that you're shooting at. I one? Okay. Um, these ladies have their old submachine guns, so they do four one, and there's five of them. So one, two, three, uh, uh, uh. right, four. And clearly, the mythos five. don't need any more dice. I love dice. And they're purple, too. I know, right? Alright, so I'm going to pull the ones I didn't 
Alright, so I'll to that. That's alright. Yep, but wait. Oh, I can sustain. You can sustain attack. Uh, how many dice did I just put back? Well, Two, four, eight. So you put back ten, if I'm not miscounting out of your five times four. There's two more for that one. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, right? Yep. Or in other words, ten dice. I was doing them in groups of four. My brain can't compute large groups of dice at this time of the night. <laughs> All right, you did something too. It's worthwhile. But, ah, dice down. Okay. So, neat little rose. That looks like fourteen hits. Yes. You you know I only have twelve dice out right now, so. So roll and then roll, however you want to divvy it up. I think I'm going to divvy it up, rolling seven and then seven. All right, you do that. I just like dice rolls. I know you do. Okay. Thankfully, I do have cover, thanks to the tank trap. So that's one hit so far. Now rolling the second grouping of seven. That is only three that got through. Pretty good save. Holy heck. All right. Well, clearly I need to keep my machine gun in. <laughs> Are you sure? I, I think it's probably for the best. All right. So okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy. This one, I said it was three they got through? Yes. And you know what? He's being rude and pointing, so he went too. <laughs> that, okay. That's why there's no use not to point. I believe your is now activated. Yes. Well, actually, Lilith could bite, but I don't know what their bite back would be if she close combat them. What can they do back? Their attack back now would only be two. Not much at all. Uh, we added the under fire tokens because... Explain. I don't... Because both of those units had received attacks against them that uh, have succeeded in hitting, so they're now under fire. Which means? It means that they're under fire. If you take another attack, then you will become suppressed and have to roll to see if you can remove it. If you are suppressed, however, you lose one of your actions. Okay. I'm not like bothering to mark my squads under fire until I know that I actually need to, because they're about to get eaten by Lilla. Hopefully pummeled. We'll see. Alright, so there's... Um, we'll do Lilla's bite, I guess, first. Um, I just roll the six, right? It's yep. six against... Um, they're uh, I-1? Yep. So six against I-1, she's biting them. Whatever damage she does to them, she heals off herself. So she did three, killing the squad. They They'll roll back. their two back with absolutely nothing. So, so she, she healed, healed for, for three? two? For two. Uh, for two? Yes. Oh, because that's two guys. Yeah, she can only heal for, for as much many? as she actually gets. So she heals for two, so she gets to stay in mean biting mode, which is cool. But she has... It is certainly not cool. Only one damage now. But she's still possessed, so that's pretty cool. Okay. Go and drop your activated token. Dice out of the way. Okay. Activated and under fire. Well, again, I guess at this point there's no need for me worrying about any officer actions or anything fun like that. At this point, no. So, I think at present, I, I am going to have a moment of personal amusement. I'm going to take a march move. Oh, you're going to cap the objective. And I'm capping the objective. At the end of the round. This is round two. <laughs> Activated. Right. And, and you gained won. the access by absolute ridiculousness. That was fantastic. 
So I didn't know what to expect going into that, but that definitely was not the way I expected things to go. Yeah, I had no right winning that match. I mean, the rolls were absolutely ridiculous the whole way through. You kept failing rolls? Yeah, could not <laughs> could not win initiative to save my life, clearly. Uh, failed all my defense rolls when I even got any. Add you down to one, maybe. <laughs> Who promptly ran in and grabbed the objective because, whoops, we kind of forgot that whole, um, whoever controlled it at the end of round two wins, and you blew all your activations to kill my guys rather than cap the objective. I rolling dice, because I kind of do that, and, uh... Sleep deprivation for the win for combat does not work out well. They teach you that in the army, and, uh, lesson learned. I don't think it's learned. I like rolling dice. <laughs> No, there will be plenty more sleep-deprived games in the future. So thanks for tuning in, and we hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.